Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your monthly astrology. We are in heartbreaking, shocking, terrible times at the moment. But I do believe with Jupiter and Pisces, if we stand together in love and we all hold the vision that there is hope for us. Of course, the shadow side of Jupiter in Pisces is illusions and delusions and a lack of clarity. So let's hold it together. Let's stand in love. I send you strength. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey, fabulous Libra, how are you doing? It's quite intense times we're in. You may find yourself feeling a little bit out of balance, but this month actually has some surprisingly joyful moments for you. Moments where you feel happiness just burst out of you. Moments where other people inspire you, where you feel creative, where you feel that you're flowing with your energy. Right, let's start at the beginning with a new moon in Pisces. It's a new cycle for you when it comes to your health and well-being, when it comes to maybe wanting to dedicate yourself to something and, and working for something you believe in. So either you're ending or beginning something that you're believing in, but it gives you the opportunity to let go of stuff, let go of bad patterns, bad habits, things that are holding you back and going, no, nah, I'm going onwards, looking after myself and, and working towards things I believe in. It's quite a powerful new moon for you. The tricky day, the intense day that we're all experiencing, and I would imagine there's going to be some great intensity in the external world too, is when Mars, the planet of war, the planet of vital life force, joins forces with Pluto, the lord of transformation, endings and drama. Luckily for us, Venus is also joining forces with Pluto, so it softens it a bit. And all of this is in your home and family area. So if there's been something you've been ignoring connected to your home and family, something that you've been feeling and you haven't expressed it, there might be a poof, big kind of internal, you know, moment where you can't hold back anymore and you maybe lose your temper or you're expressing very passionately what you feel in those areas. As I say, thankfully Venus is there. It may be a positive change, but it's likely to be a dramatic change one way or the other. A very positive day is on March the 5th where the sun joins forces with Jupiter and you feel really optimistic about the work you're doing on yourself, on your health and well-being and kicking these habits. You're like, you know what? I've got this. I can do it. And you have faith in yourself. When we have faith in ourselves, we are capable of doing anything. You know, self-belief is really important. Obviously, not in a narcissistic way or a dodgy way or a delusional way but a way that we're like, yes, you know, I'm worthy of looking after myself and I, I want to benefit from shifting a few things in my life. So that's a great day where hopefully you feel very positive. Anyway, after that, on March the 6th, we have Mars and Venus entering your joy, pleasure and creativity zone. So you're feeling more optimistic than usual. You're feeling excited about life, that you're feeling creative, frisky, passionate, and there should be some beautiful one-to-one -one moments with people. It could be a new love. It may be that you're feeling the love from a friend. You're feeling the love from a lover. You're just feeling the love of being alive. Um, you know, or you have a, a fun time down the park with your puppy. I don't know where the joy is coming from, but trust me, it will be good. Your heart is open to feeling pleasure in early March. Now, Mercury is shifting signs and going into Pisces. And it, it's making you, again, very committed to your journey of self-care, which is good. And when it moves through that, you might also be thinking about working with your inner child or doing something that brings balance into your life. And it's very, very positive. But Mercury changed signs again on March the 27th. And then you find great harmony and balance in your relationships. All right, we also have the Sun conjunct Neptune. So don't go too extreme on your self-care journey around March the 13th. You might to do might sort of decide to do something quite radical because Neptune makes us like, you know, all dreamy and not very practical. So keep it grounded, this journey that you're going on. The full moon in Virgo is giving you a psychic revelation. Look out for a sign, a symbol, or something coming up that's quite intense. That it's you feel it like that you're that you're maybe a dream or a strange coincidence. But definitely pay attention to it. But again, keep it grounded. The sun is going into Aries, as is Mercury in March. 
And the next focus from you from the 20th of March is your intimate and one-to-one -one relationships and your partnerships. And you're determined to seek balance. And you're also, through the work you've done on yourself and the work and the self-care you've done on, your, on yourself, you're stepping into deeper intimate relationships, be they business partnerships or love relationships. So that's very, very positive. All in all, there are lots of moments of wonder and magic for you this month. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually, Michelle Knight, astrologer, and of course my website, michelleknight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.